I am ranked number one. One! That means I'm the best. Uskatagi, I believe his name is, versus Darrell. Shades of Darrell versus Abraham all over again, where Darrell was victorious while lying on the canvas. I have to believe that Darrell was not faking it because winning like that doesn't get you any leverage. It really doesn't. I don't think he was faking it. He was enjoying his best period in the fight in the early rounds. Uskatagi appeared to score a knockdown, which the referee didn't pick up on. Seemed like a knockdown. Darrell was hurt. A power punch, I believe a right hand, then a combination came over. And he was on the floor. It should have been called a knockdown. I believe at the end of round two, Uskatagi threw a late punch after the bell. Was it deliberate or was it not? Borderline. Or maybe let's say from five till eight, Darrell was having his best spell. And he was looking pretty good. He was looking pretty good. I was wondering in the early stages if he was shot. His face was a little puffy. Looked like some damage to the nose and the right eye. But you know, they were both switch hitters. It was never going to be an easy fight. Because Uskatagi is a big super middleweight. He's 6'2", 76 inch reach. They're both switch hitters. Depending if you scored the second round, a 10-8 round for the Venezuelan. The fight looked like it was in the balance to me. I don't know. Eighth round. Darrell was continuing his good work. Showing his speed. Good jabs. Some good body shots going in. When the after bell left hand landed. There was two left hands. One landed just before the bell. And then obviously there was a follow up left after the bell. And Darrell went down. Was the second left hard enough to do that kind of damage? Or did the first left do the damage? It's hard to say. The slow motion shows the second hand. The second left hand did a lot of damage. Obviously it did. And his uncle came in there. Darrell's uncle. And sucker punched. Uzgatagi. And the police are apparently looking for him now. To hem him up on criminal charges. But I don't know man. I don't know what to say for Darrell. It took him over a year and a half to recover from the Abraham fight, which he won by DQ. And he had a lot of injury problems as a consequence of that blow he received from Abraham while he was down. Now, if this has similar effects, I don't think inactivity is going to do him any good at all right now. I really don't. I believe if he gets clipped with a heavy shot right now, his chin won't hold up. I believe he's boxing on memory. He's functional right now. More than elite world class. He has enough muscle memory and talent to give anyone problems. And he still wants a belt. Can he do it right now? Who knows? Who knows? It was a strange fight. Not unusual for Darrell though, is it?